Now, we are going to uh, be having several guests on with us uh, during the broadcast today. We're going to have Joel Skousen of the World Affairs Brief uh, joining us at the bottom of the hour to talk about the pivot from the Middle East, supposedly militarily, to Asia and all the incredible war drums from China and the United States, uh, military drills outside each other's nations, uh, simultaneously Chinese uh, drills of uh, arriving during an economic or natural disaster in uh, the Pacific Islands of Hawaii. Uh, that's going on right now. We've got uh, serious geopolitical changes that are taking place across the world right now. And Joel Skousen, editor of the World Affairs Brief, uh, will be joining us coming up at the bottom of the hour. And in the last 30 minutes, uh, we have uh, Dr. Laura Presley coming in. She's a local Austinite and has been an activist I've known for, I guess, about a decade or so. Uh, but she has successfully, along with Austinites in the show and others, gotten uh, law in through the city council that you'd be able to opt out of the spy meters. Uh, the NSA uh, scam devices that literally track every appliance in your house uh, that are smart as well uh, and also gouges you uh, with the prices on record and can control your thermostat and more. This is the real revolution against tyranny. I'm all for technology if it's neutral. The problem is all the technology uh, is being globally standardized, all the major technological rollouts to spy on everyone and to control our lives and give the upper hand to uh, dubious, uh, corrupt corporations. And we know that Enron basically pioneered 15 years ago the development of these things that are proliferating worldwide. So whereas you have the civil rights movement so black folks could vote, and before that you have the suffrage movement and other things, you have the Second Amendment movement, the fight against King George, there's always a continuation of new battles. And really it's all of us being attacked by the surveillance grid. Speaking of that, up on DrudgeReport.com on the right-hand side uh, is an uh, article from StoryLeak.com. Las Vegas installs in telestreets light fixtures capable of recording conversations. And even the local news was critical of them. We're going to play that clip and tie it into the voice recognition software uh, that they've got hooked into these. And they don't want you to be aware of that. Two years ago, they came out and bragged about it in promos. And we're given billions in Homeland Security funding to put these in in towns all over the United States and, and worldwide it's happening. England's really the capital of this. They shout orders at you. They spy on you. They face scan you. Uh, but the big thing is the audio is 360 and can go hundreds and hundreds of yards. And they have your voice print, folks. Your voice print's been captured, been chronicled, just like your face print via driver's license photos. And now all these companies, you go and take digital photos to get your smart card or your gym card. That is then sold into consortium databases. I blew the whistle on this 15 years ago, not because I'm a rocket scientist. They've had big consortium tech meetings in London, Chicago, New York, Tokyo, where you can read the text of what the, the, the major telecom heads and Sony heads and all of them, Microsoft heads, they admit all this. Now they're going to track everything you do in real time. Your voice will be used to purchase. You've got, already got for three years Facebook kiosk up where you walk by and it goes, Hey, Alex Jones, that's you. You're on Facebook. Your best buddy in high school was, and it just knows everything. Now you can watch the Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. Uh, today, we are going to first get into the abject total fraud, the Cloward and Piven program to further bankrupt this country and force people onto welfare so that they can be collectivized and socially engineered. And we're going to look at the conscious deception of Barack Obama in deceiving his minion supporters uh, and the general public. And then we'll break down the rest of the story, uh, what is going to be developing uh, in the future under this system. Then the editor of World Affairs Brief, Joel Skousen, of course, uh, 
nephew of Cleon Skousen, wrote the seminal Naked Communist, uh, how the ultra elite uh, fund communism at the grassroots to uh, take control of the population while they themselves are offshore and exempt. He's going to give us big breaking analysis because he's been predicting this. It's now happening just as he said. Uh, one of the most accurate uh, geopolitical forecasters I know. Uh, he's going to be joining us to break down this pivot to Asia and the move towards war with communist China. So that is uh, all coming up, you know, about the Chinese communists targeting U.S. cities with nukes and threatening to attack us uh, and firing missiles off our coast uh, as tests. Um, a lot of really serious things going on. He's going to be joining us. And then some news of national import, but it comes to you from right here in deep in the heart of Texas, Austin, where we're broadcasting to you from. And folks are listening to us on stations like 590 AM, KLBJ. Laura Presley, uh, who's fought to get fluoride out of the water, she's a doctor, Dr. Laura Presley, uh, will be joining us. Uh, she's helped spearhead with other Austinites and yours truly and our listeners, uh, being the first city in Texas, one of the first nationwide to have a opt out of the spy meters, the scam meters, the NSA surveillance meters, the uh, imperial probe droids uh, that they attach on the side of your house to spy on you. Uh, she's going to be joining us in the last 30 minutes in studio of the two hour Sunday transmission today. And again, uh, the news websites are infowars.com, prisonplanet.com, and then we have the nightly news site, infowarsnews.com. PrisonPlanet.tv will also <coughs> take you there as well. Now, we've got a lot of other news, obviously, we need to get into. Big news on not just smart meters, literally tying into all the other, quote, smart appliances by design and spying on you and controlling your thermostat as Enron designed it to do back in their old scam days. Uh, yeah, Enron's been destroyed and their leader has died before going to jail, uh, like Bernie Madoff. Uh, you know, is basically in jail. But uh, the, the, the frauds they developed, the carbon taxes, the smart meters, the scam meters um, are uh, still with us. Um, but we're going to get in the next segment into a uh, local Las Vegas news story that's on local TV. Las Vegas installs IntelliStreet's light fixtures under Homeland Security grants that listen to you. Now, now why this is important, folks, is... Uh, when they started putting cameras under federal grants 20 years in, 20 years ago, they said, oh, it's only for traffic. Now they admit, no, we're spying on everything you do, and we want to make it the law that all private cameras have to be hooked into our grid to spy on you. And most new cameras, like computers, have built-in microphones. That's the big Homeland Security push. When you hear your police chief pushing that, they're, they're literally just federal DHS uh, uh, operatives. This is not about security, it's about control. But with the voice print analysis systems that are very inexpensive and are, and are hooked into these hubs, they know who you are from your voice, and it's all being recorded, and they call them gunshot detectors. Austin had them put in in 98. Uh, most other big cities uh, have them in now as well, and they have them in parks, you name it, listening to you, recording it, and they have your voice print analysis. So there's the rest of the story. I'm going to detail that in the next segment. But first off, uh, McClatchy... D.C. reports analysis. Tens of millions could be forced out of health insurance. They had. No, no. They've already forced $2 million three weeks ago, then $5 million. Now it's about $8 million. It's going to be more like $25 mil. But that's just kicking you directly off of it. They're also, on average, have now doubled it. Humana, it's going up 500-plus percent in Texas. That's all been announced. The insurance companies wrote this to literally screw you over. If you're not an illegal alien, you're not going to get free care. The illegals will get free care to bring them in to drive down wages. It's an incentive. That's why they now tell, you know, half the country's basically going on part-time under Obamacare to lower wages further, and you're told now. DHS, through Health and Human Services, two weeks ago, said the news, it's okay, tell your employees, go on supplementary assistance. It's Cloward and Piven, sociology plan, to totally domesticate us. You will not be able, under the system, most people on average to not be on welfare. So we went from 25 million on food stamps to 50 million in six years. It's going to be 100 mil. It's already 101 mil on some form of welfare. It's going to be 200 mil. Just like France, just like Russia, this is how they do it. It's a plan. So I thought I would actually go over here for you today 
uh, what Obama actually has done in his deception. This finally, the public finally picked up on this and noticed it. You remember Obama saying at least now 50 plus times that you can keep your insurance back when they were trying to pass it in 2009. We will keep this promise to the American people. If you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor, period. If you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan, period. First of all, if you've got health insurance, you like your doctor, you like your plan, you can keep your doctor, you can keep your plan. Nobody is talking about taking that away from you. No matter what you've heard, if you like your doctor or health care plan, you can keep it. If you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. If you like your private health insurance plan, oh, that's enough. you can keep... It goes on and on forever. Uh, then uh, he came out uh, last week and said, he said you could keep it before the law passed. A total fraud. So, so then he lied, but then that blew up in his face, and then he came back and said, I'm sorry. But let's go ahead and go to him lying last week and saying, I didn't really say that. Here it is. Or had one of these plans before the Affordable Care Act came into law. And you really liked that plan. What we said was you could keep it if it hasn't changed since the laws passed. Uh, let's play that clip for folks one more time so they can hear the absolute craven deception. If you have or had one of these plans before the Affordable Care Act came into law, and you really liked that plan. What we said was you could keep it if it hasn't changed since the laws passed. And that is not what he said. He said, under this bill, you can keep it, period. So, so there he is lying. Now, when we come back, he gets caught in the line and apologizes. But there's a new video dug up off C-SPAN where he admits four years ago he lied to, that he was going to lie to everybody. You understand how dark it is, how far down the line we are, how late it is? All right, so we're analyzing here how Obama deceives people. So first he says hundreds of times, 50 plus videos we found, keeps growing, but we know it's hundreds of times in different speeches that you'll keep your plan, period. So like he said, I'm not going to hire a single lobbyist and hired record numbers. I'm not going to increase the debt. I'm going to cut it in half, doubled it. Uh, I'm not coming after your guns, came after him. Just everything he says, it's the opposite. Going to stop spying on you illegally, increases it. Going to fight Al-Qaeda, openly funds Al-Qaeda in Libya and Syria. Whatever he says, it's the opposite. Unless it's abortion, he will you know, try to fund basically forced abortions in Africa and places. So he will, will do that. Uh, now, now, I played him saying, you can keep it. Then I played him saying, no, 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 I meant... Until the bill passes. No, he's like, under this bill, you can keep it, period. Then he said, okay, uh, you know, I never said that. Then that didn't work. So a few days ago, what, on Thursday, he apologized and said, I'm sorry. I am sorry that they, uh, you know, are finding themselves in this situation based on assurances they got from me. We've got to work hard to make sure that uh, they know uh, we hear them and that we're going to do everything we can uh, to deal with folks who find themselves uh, in a tough position as a consequence of this. You put them in this position with a bunch of foreign banks that wrote this to shut down their competition, make everybody buy insurance, kick people off their existing insurance, and double, triple, and quadruple premiums. And by the way, I had said it's 8 to 10 million currently kicked off just actually reading the, the fine print. Obama is saying tens of millions now. McClatchy is reporting 52 million are going to be kicked off. And that they're real journalism, by the way. If you want to know real journalism in America that's more establishment, the only dinosaur media that I see that actually ever reports anything real, maybe Wall Street Journal, every once in a while the LA Times, but Wired Magazine, McClatchy over and over again. I mean, McClatchy's the folks that went, you know, Warren Buffett's lobbying for tax increases on the on the middle class to pay him banker bailout money while he's exempt. I mean, they, they do a pretty darn good job, and they've done the analysis. It's 52 million. DrudgeReport.com has it right there. We need to get this up on Infowars.com. Uh, but folks should go read that. It's in the middle column uh, right now. Now, here's the new video we dug up. It's up on Infowars.com. 
And this is Obama in 2010, uh, right, you know, when they're trying to, like, finagle writers on the bills. The bill's 3,000 pages, but 10,000-plus pages of addendums were added on. And he's in there talking to different senators. And this is Obama and Cantor at Health Care Commission with the House, the Senate, and the executive meeting. And so Obama can't sit here. He knows nobody watches C-SPAN, really. So he, he's outlined to his constituents saying, look, period, it's a lie, you'll never lose it. That's made up right-wing extremism. But to Cantor and others, he explains to them, well, no, it'll only be eight or nine million under this that lose their insurance. So this is conscious lying. And by the way, Obama's a puppet, but he's actually in there running a lot of stuff as well. He's a constitutional lawyer, he's a smart guy. He helped write the NDAA to disappear Americans with the attorney general and secretly arrest us. And they tell the military they can just kill Americans secretly whenever they want now. Total treason, Hitler-level stuff. He wrote it and then said he was going to vote against it and then signed it. And then it came out. He engineered the whole thing and was telling the Senate, don't tell them I wrote it. I mean, he was in there in phone calls and meetings. I want to secretly arrest people. I mean, totally creepy. And it's the same thing. Here he is in a real meeting with the Senate going, yeah, we're going to kick people off their insurance while he's out on Meet the Press saying the opposite. That is sneakiness. And that's, but it's not even sneakiness because they do it right out in front of everybody. I, I, it's arrogance, folks. And it's knowing the dinosaur media, the state-run media. AP calls me. New York Times calls me. New York Magazine. They're all calling me every day. I, don't, I, I call them back and go, write whatever you want, state-run media. You're a dead dinosaur politically. Go ahead. Make up whatever you want. And they're like, but you don't want to. No, make up whatever you want. <laughs> and then I hang the phone up. I love it. I love it. You people are already a joke. Now, let's go ahead. Let's go. The only people that are smart are the ones that are going to stay around. Remember that and tell the truth. The public wants the truth, folks. They're done with liars. Oh, if you question known liars, you're a conspiracy theorist. Oh, I'm laughing at you. Oh, really? It's all coming true, just like we said. I have credibility. You don't. People that tell the truth have credibility. We have credibility. You don't have credibility. So your thing about where you have the credibility, it's all over. So let's go ahead and now go to Obama three years ago in a meeting admitting it would kick people off. Here it is. And because I don't think that you can answer the question in the positive to say that people will be able to maintain their coverage, people will As be Representative able to see Eric the Cantor. doctors they want in the kind of bill that you're proposing. Well, let, let, let me, since you asked me a question, let me respond. Um, the eight to nine million people that you refer to that might have to change their coverage, out, keep in mind out of the 300 million Americans that we're talking about, uh, would be oh, folks who the CBO, the Congressional Budget Office, estimates would, would find the deal in the exchange better. Total fraud. Would be a better deal. Total fraud. So they, yes, they would change coverage because they've got more choice and competition. So let's just be clear about that point number one. Uh, point That's number enough. two. That's enough. So there they are, literally just selling the greatest bull you could ever imagine in their face. Now let's shift gears to a story from Infowars.com and StoryLeak.com is where it originally appeared. It's uh, up on DrudgeReport.com. It's the easiest place to find it on the uh, right-hand middle area right there. This is a local uh, TV station, and we'll give you the call letters here in a moment once we play it. And here they are talking about the IntelliStreet system that, oh, can listen to it if they decide to turn the microphone on. But the issue is they have voice recognition and Homeland Security is paying for this. And this is to listen to you. I was told this by Time Warner executives and AT&T executives 15 years ago and broke that your cable boxes and cell phones and everything are watching you, listening to you. Okay, just like your new computers are watching you. The NSA, they've already committed a billion crimes. Why not commit a billion more? Let's go to part of this newscast. According to their own marketing video, the lights they manufacture are adaptable, capable of adding cameras for surveillance and security, and even recording devices. Yes, the same street lights now being tested in Las Vegas could someday be set up to record conversations okay. from everyday... Let's stop right there. I'm going to have to get to this when Joel Skousen leaves us in about 45 minutes from now, because it's so important I've got to get into it. But I wanted to give you the rest of the story. 
Ladies and gentlemen, they're not testing this, okay? We, we broke this two years ago, and that's in the article, the two articles from two years ago that Paul Watson wrote about it. But here's the Washington Post with a headline. Shot spotter detection system documented 39,000 shooting incidents in the district last year. Folks, they call them gunshot detectors. They're really audio systems, and they are listening to you. And that even comes out in the literature. So let's get that straight. The reason this is important is they're now admitting they're listening to you. Okay? And, and, and they know who you are, and it all goes into the threat fusion centers. It is beyond 1984. Are we choosing our own destiny, or has it been pre-selected for us? As we've moved through history, every great leader has had to understand the potential of information. Billions of dollars have been spent privately and publicly looking at how to tap into your psyche. From compulsory state education to the Hollywood media brainwashing machine, we are kept in perpetual bondage to the ideas that shape our actions. When somebody obscures that feedback loop between you observing and testing it out and verifying it, they can take total control of your awareness. All of this is happening so fast, you need to be ahead of the game. How to engineer the opinion of the American people so that they would not only endorse, but demand a war. Out of another one, another plane just hit. State of mind, because there's a war on for your mind. Get your copy of State of Mind, the movie, at InfoWars.com. And remember, every order at InfoWarsStore.com receives a free citizen rulebook.